So this is a zoom in of Sadiq Khan's chest as a balloon. <laughs> of Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, wearing a bikini. And yes, I specifically thought this was the right time to start the video. But um, yeah, so you've probably heard about the Donald Trump balloon that went through London. It was something that I'm like, I'm, I support their right to make the balloon. I support their right to parade it on the streets. I thought it was stupid and an ultimate just embarrassment for that political side. Yeah, there we go. There's the whole city con balloon. So it was a stupid Trump balloon. Made It, made, it was made to make him look like a baby. Um, and in response to that, they made a city con, the other side made a city con balloon um, to make him look stupid and kind of like just as a response. Now, I've already said in the other video I did on this, on the Trump baby balloon, that I think this is just dumb. <laughs> like, I like I want to like it. Believe me, I really want to like it, but this just seems kind of dumb because I'm I'm really opposed to like just about putting your political energies, putting your money and resources into anything politics that doesn't really change people's hearts and minds, just things that are stupid. Now, believe me, through comedy and through jokes, you can change a lot of people's mind. You can like make them say, "Hey, that's a good point." By making fun of something, by ridiculing something, you can change people's minds. You can convince people. You can make them aware of things. And especially with certain political stunts, you can definitely make them aware of certain issues. Like of certain political... Look at that guy clapping. Um, you can make people aware of political issues because no one cares about... Like, if you write a 900-page 900 900 treatise on what you believe, that's not going to get media coverage because no one cares. But, I mean, it still should be done, which is great. But if you want to combine that with some kind of stupid political stunt that at least gets people's attention... I'm fine with that. Now, I'm trying to think of just, like, how people interpret this. I thought the Trump balloon was stupid, but that's because I voted for Trump. And looking at this, I'm trying to think that... I'm imagining that the average person that looks at this um, just sees it as equally stupid. Like, if you thought the Trump balloon was great, you're probably already on that side. If you think the City Con balloon is great, you're probably already on this side. If you think they're, if you're in the centrist, if you're in the center, you probably think they're both dumb, and that's why I didn't donate to this. I'm not really a fan of it, just because it seems dumb. Though my point of this is to say there's one way in which this balloon could actually redeem itself, and that's if it spreads some kind of awareness to things that people didn't know about before. If it wins people over onto your side, I don't think the balloon itself could do this. Looks like um, Ruffley streaming it, so at least there's some media coverage there but only about 500 people are watching. Now, I have no idea if this just started or if it's been going on for two hours. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, basically, I'm opposed to it if it doesn't change any minds. I don't think it would. Though, though, I have noticed that it's getting all kinds of media attention. Like, here's Metro saying, the flying the city con balloon is not an exercise of free speech. It is a party for bigots. Which, <laughs> Metro is... Metro reminds me of Gawker. Like, it's insanely biased. It's absolutely awful. It's... It's all, I don't know if it's relatively new, because I've only ever heard about it a few months ago. Like, there they are complaining about Theresa May, who I complain about. I don't like Theresa May. But, um, yeah, it's very partisan. They're complaining about the city con balloon. Whereas, here's an earlier article. The support for our Trump baby balloon has gotten been so massive, we're going global. So, Metro is very biased in favor of the Trump balloon, but then all of a sudden they get mad when the city con balloon happens. So, that's what I'm interested in about, is showing the bias of how, like, hey, this side does it, you like it. This side does it, you hate it. And that's really what, like, the only point of the city con balloon could really do is to, sh is to point out people's bias, how they like this, but now all of a sudden they're against that. And that's why I'm not a fan of either. Like, I'm trying to think of rationalities for why the balloon could do good, and it certainly could, but I don't think it will. I'm saying this is really all I can see is pointing out the obvious bias of um, media organizations saying like, oh, this is good, and now all of a sudden, when when it's the opponent doing this, it's bad. But yeah, it's basically like, in my, in my opinion, whatever, obviously we're clouded with our own biases of how we view things, but this, this is a good like bias detector right here, depending on what you think of um, one balloon versus the other. It's probably the same thing. Now, what they're trying to spread awareness of is, for one, they don't like Sadiq Khan, obviously. Now, I don't like Sadiq Khan, and apparently um, he did actually say, like, hey, I'm fine with this balloon. Like, hey, I'm I'm okay with this balloon being out here. And that was part of, like, the, the 
the um, the reason they made the balloon in the first place was to say like, oh, you allowed the Trump balloon, but will Sadiq Khan allow his own balloon in his own city that makes fun of him? Well, he did, which I have a lot of thing I, things I dislike about Sadiq Khan. I think he kind of had to go through with it because it would have looked really bad if he didn't. Uh, but he did go through with it, so credit there. Now, they put him in a yellow bikini, as you can see. Yep, he, they put him in a yellow bikini. Why they do that? Uh, because of this Beach Body Ready poster, which they had on the Transports for London. And in 2016, Mr. Khan announced that Transport for London would not allow adverts on its network, which could create body confidence issues following a storm over a protein shake poster, which featured a model posing in a yellow bikini, which asked, are you Beach Body Ready? So that's the whole point of this awareness thing. And I hope they focus on that. I hope they do some actual activism and actually like say, hey, here's a giant balloon to make people like aware that we exist and now we'll do some actual activism. I hope they do that because from what I saw, the, the Trump protests were really just complaining about fascism and complaining about like it wasn't really them making arguments. It was just complaining. I don't think they changed any minds, which is why I'm fine to let them protest because again, they were just being idiots. <laughs> but then this is happening. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I think it can make a lot of centrists look at this and say, well, um, I thought the, the Trump balloon was stupid, but now the right side or the right wing is doing this also, and it seems equally stupid. I don't know if it'll push them away um, or if it'll actually like people will show up to see what it's all about and it'll change minds. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's I, I, I'm making this video just as a like, hey, here's there's a link in the description if you want to watch the stream. I'm curious to see how it goes, but this is the response to the Trump balloon, and I can't. I just don't see it doing that well. <laughs> if 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 you weren't aware of the Beach Body Ready thing, then hey, I guess I did my job. I guess your I guess the the City Con balloon did its job. People are now aware that they actually banned again banned these because it could have offended people. Because like hey, Beach Body Ready, they implied someone skinny was Beach Body Ready, and apparently that's offensive. Um, if it made you aware of this and now you're upset and now you're like angry at Sadiq Khan for this, then hey, the balloon did its job. Uh, but I'm curious to see the responses because I know this is an unpopular opinion probably among my circles that I just don't think it's that great. It seems like, hey, we could be doing something better with our time. And this like, pfft, it just, I'm just thinking of the, the, the same thing with the Trump balloon. Like, I don't see how this is any different. I will say they raise money faster, which is great. But I, kind of, I just fail to see how this will be any different. Like, if you thought the Trump balloon was different, if you thought the Trump balloon was stupid, then how is this any different, which is what I'm curious to, to know about. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. I'd like to support the balloon, uh, but I just don't see how it could be. Um, I don't see, see how it's... It, I'll, I'll concede it's funny. <laughs> I'll concede it's funny, but um, that's because I'm biased. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. If you disagree, if you think it's like, show me evidence of it really changing people's minds. But um, I, I just think this will be centrist. I think I can just picture centrist looking at this. People that like, I, I don't mean political centrist. I mean more apolitical people that really aren't involved in either side looking at this and saying, well, I thought the Trump one was dumb. I think this is dumb. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.